So I've had a question crop up quite a lot in my Poppy Playtime videos, and generally when a question is asked many times, it makes sense to me to address that in a video so that I A, don't have to keep replying to the same comment over and over, and B, that information is clearly something that people want to know. So it makes sense in my head to address it in a video. So the question that I keep getting is, why does nobody go back to this door, the door with the red and blue hand in the main hall, after you get the red hand in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1? And the answer's probably going to disappoint you, but quite simply, you can't. So if you remember in the main hall where we first meet Huggy, there is this door here with a blue and red hand, and it's completely inaccessible because you don't have the red grab pack hand. Now we do actually get the red grab pack hand in chapter one, and a lot of people have asked, well, why don't you just go back to that door? What's behind it? There must be something behind it, right? It's gotta be a secret or something. Why is nobody talking about it? And very simply, if you try to go back after you've got the red grab pack hand, the shutter in this corridor is closed. This was actually where I first came up with my idea in my top 10 list, you know, my original one, the one that I made. And this was where I first realized that we were just a black box. It's very easy to see that you have no proper reflection on this surface. And that's where I found out. I didn't mention it in the video because I just kind of thought most people would realize that you can't get back down this corridor. But I've also had to kind of realize that a lot of people just haven't played the game. I think a lot of people who are fans of Poppy Playtime haven't bought it and haven't played it. They've only watched YouTube videos or streams. And that's something that I never really considered while making these videos. I, I, I don't know why. I just assumed that most people would, would play the game. But uh, I guess that's a thing with modern fandoms. But it is very disappointing that you can't get back there. But you might be asking, well, then why is it there? What's the point of a door if we can never get through it? Like it must have some significance. And it will in a future chapter. The, the most likely explanation. Now, I mean, the, there could be some secret or something that I've missed. I'm not saying that I'm infallible. But it's more likely going to be that this is something that we'll get to in chapter two or beyond. Because we know that this game is coming out in chapters. So if you want to get future chapters, they're going to be released as a DLC for the main game. And chapter two is coming in early 2022. So not that long to wait. But in future chapters, we're going to be going into the other areas of the factory. And if you look in this room, you can see that there are all these different wings or different areas of the factory. We have the innovation. We have the theater, which, by the way, I don't know. I don't know if this is just me, wouldn't it be really cool if theater was the front for the operation theater? So like obviously it's it's supposed to be like a theater, like a movie theater or a cinema, right? But we know that this factory is, is doing some crazy stuff or, or the staff of this factory are doing some crazy experiments. So how cool would it be that if in that area behind the scenes there is like a, a theater, like a, a, an operation theater or an op operation theater? an operative theater? You know what I mean? Like a medical theater. Like how cool would it be if they were really cheeky and all along that that was a front for the, the medical experiments and that's why that was done. But either way, we're going to be going through these different areas in future chapters. And I have a sneaking suspicion that we'll be going to the innovation wing last because after all, innovation is key. And I really do think that the innovation wing is where we're going to figure out exactly what happened in this factory and exactly what happened to the staff, whether this was all some tragic accident, whether this was all part of the plan, whether that maybe this is part of the experiment. Maybe the protagonist being brought back here is part of the testing capabilities. Maybe they're testing how effective Huggy and these other creatures or, or, or dolls are. So I think that's a really interesting point and we'll probably learn all about that in the future chapters. So this door will be something that we'll go through in a future chapter. I would probably put money on it if I was a betting man, which I'm not. But yeah, so we'll have to see what happens in a future chapter. So I'm probably not gonna make that many more Poppy Playtime videos until we get chapter two, unless we get any more information or anything worth talking about. I've pretty much done the main content that I wanted to do on Poppy Playtime. I am slowly working on my Dark Pictures Anthology Theory. I still need to play a Little Hope. I'm just trying to find the time for that. And uh, I'm also going to be trying to bring back my streams as well. If you're new to the channel, if you don't know, I do occasionally stream over on Twitch. Uh, I haven't been consistent over there for a while just because I've been focusing on YouTube because just let's be honest, YouTube is just far more rewarding for me and I enjoy the process of creating content more over here. But I do enjoy streaming as well. So I stream sometimes over on Twitch if you want to give me a follow over there. I also stream sometimes on the YouTube channel. Kill it! Give me more fish. I don't know what fish does, but I want it. Sashimi! Sashimi time! Give me some sashimi! Yeah, there we go. So make sure that you are subscribed because otherwise YouTube won't notify you about when I go live and stuff like that. 
Um, I don't have a schedule. I just stream when I fancy. If there's like a new game that comes out that I want to stream or if I have a, a particular reason to stream, I will stream it. And I guess this is a, probably a good time to also say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed because we just hit 100,000 subscribers, which I, I am still kind of in shock. I did not think we would hit that any time this year, let alone before Christmas. So I'm honestly very, very grateful to everyone who supported the channel. And I'm really, I really hope that you enjoy the content and I hope you enjoy the future content too. We are trying to branch out a little bit more. We were kind of a pigeonholed into a lot of nightmares for a little while, but I'm trying to branch out into other games because I really don't like sticking to the same game. But I am really looking forward to covering Poppy Playtime when chapter two and beyond come out. So do the subscribe and all that lot. If you really want to support the channel, if you want to help me out a little bit more and you have a little bit of spare money, uh, I also have a Patreon, which I'll leave in the, the description below. That's completely optional. And um, yeah, thank you so much for the support this last month. Oh, well, in the whole time that I've been doing YouTube, thank you for the support. But particularly this last month has been very, very crazy. So if you have any uh, other things you want me to address like this, if there's any burning questions you have about Poppy Playtime, let me know down in the comments below. If I got any good questions, maybe I'll respond to them in another video as well. But uh, yeah, I'm very interested to see where this game goes. That's it. That'll do for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.